Asmund Gold, he um he basically talked about woke uh wokeness in video games. And he he talked, he briefly touches on the topic that we're gonna talk about, but this he's been trending um for the past couple uh past day or so. And it's not due to his um his his bad takes about work yeah. uh, streaming is a harder job. Right. What has Asmund done now? Surprisingly, <laughs> not much. I asked case, still the same thing. Say, I asked still the same. What did he do now? That is it. No, no, he didn't do anything. He he, had, he just had some takes. Then he's people are trying to cancel him. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Let's, so, let's break it down. So, um, did you know that Dragon's Dogma is coming out in next? It's coming out next week. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It's, and, it's looking. To, it's looking to be the better game compared to Rise of the Ronin. The, the way yeah. I see the previous. Game. Yeah. Yeah, like I I actually I am I might actually try to make because right now you can't really play the game but you can actually do um, character creation. Character yeah, creation. character creation yeah. and yeah. there have been crazy character creations that, that I've been seeing which is pretty damn cool in my opinion. Yeah. And uh I guess um this comes to us from uh uh, X Twitter, some Dragon's Dogma's official Twitter account, and it says introducing the second round of Dragon's Dogma official pawns now joining the fray. And you have, um, you have, of course, these four, but the one person I do want to highlight is Asmingle. And uh, the re- why is he important, in my opinion? Um, he has a lot of subscribers. Um, he's He's been on the internet for, you know, for more than 10 years now. And he's been doing a lot of stuff for WoW and stuff like that. Whether or not you enjoy his takes or not, whether or not you like what he says, um, the man has every right to say what he wants to say. However, yep. there's a lot of people who are upset at Asmongold. And here's the first one. And right over here, this is from News Lobster. You say, leftists are mad at Asmongold involved in upcoming Dragon's Dogma 2 because he talked about Sweet Baby Ink controversy earlier this month. And this person says, emerge from my COVID haze to see Capcom using someone who just mainstreamed a hate campaign against marginalized people in gaming to promote Dragon's Dogma. And I just wish the games industry weren't embarrassing and actively dangerous at every turn i'm going back to bed so that's one person i don't know who this person is i don't i don't I'm not as a critic game critic reporter at inverse.com second best host of the girl mod and of course a uh, trans person because i have the trans flag it, with a she and her imagine calling yourself best something <laughs> it's, it's it's so cringe yeah. in my opinion i, I yeah. like if you're gonna if you're gonna call someone best, like it, it's not gonna come from yourself, right? It should come from other people. Like it's like it, it, you're so full of yourself. Oh, I'm the best in every. It's like it's, it's so cringe. It's so arrogant, in my opinion. Yeah. And we, no. we got a yeah. sticker from yeah. Wicked, yeah. Virtue. Wicked Virtue with the super sticker. I think it's a uh, it's it's oh it's a it's a karate <laughs> karate dog going. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for the five dollar yeah. super sticker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy crap, you didn't have to do that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Wicked. We appreciate it. And so that's one person. Another person uh, right up here says, Asmund Goat is a gigantic piece of shit. And the reason we are currently in the midst of what can only be described as hell, even for people completely divorced from the current situation. The fact that Capcom has decided to platform him in any way is just disgusting. And this guy is a writer freelance yeah. news writer for nme yeah. tcg uh writer elsewhere uh and of course um pronouns, yeah, pronouns bio, and queer queer yeah yeah it it yeah so so i guess um you know just be just because you have he has he has he has an opinion to, to voice whatever he wants who cares right who cares now there's even more crazy ones online and these the reason why I have to go to these is because most of these posts were deleted. So people who don't know uh, who Asmund Gold is, uh, he is probably one of the biggest WoW players back in the day. He doesn't play WoW anymore, but he was one of the biggest WoW content creator back in the day. And uh, yeah, he's um, he has he, he owns OTK, and uh, he has um, he he owns uh, Starforge and a bunch of other companies with like Matt Mushroom and stuff like that. And uh, he's. He has over combined, I think, over four, maybe over four million followers and subscribers, if I'm not sure. Yeah. So um, now here's another one right over here. So these are all so these are all actual images. I don't have 
their actual Twitter account uh, pulled up. This person says, isn't Asmund Goat the racist, transphobic grifter who openly opens artists, uh, openly hopes artists lose their uh, lose jobs and also lives, <laughs> sorry, not lives, lives in a pile of roaches in his own shit and tooth blood smeared on his wall? How this guy has even one watcher still absolutely baffles me. Mm. Gray, I'm, there, there's a lot more I'm going to bring up, but how do you feel about these crazy people uh, talking about Asmund yeah, right he, now? When did he say that he wanted... Look, we, we didn't agree in his take with regards to streaming is harder than a regular job. Okay, We're, we're, we're 100% still stand by that. But a lot of his takes are actually pretty solid in my opinion. It's pretty rational, at least... Or at least he could. He, his line of reasoning is, I understand why he arrives at a certain point for many of his takes, but yeah, he never wished for losing jobs. And I mean, who cares if his house is dirty? He's, he's still a multimillionaire. That's all. That's all that really matters. Uh, mm -hmm. his own shit. I, I don't know about that, but yeah, this these is this is how these people um attack uh form an argument. They they throw personal insults. Rather than trying to constructively say why he was wrong in particular takes, they just because they they know they can't, they know that they will lose if you do a constructive way of arguing, of arguing. So they just use personal insults like, "Oh, he lives in a pile of roaches." Oh, he he's in his own shit. Yeah, that they just they just resort to doing that kind of argument rather than um trying to figure things out and actually, you know, arriving at a conclusion. Oh, I'm actually wrong. Oh, I'm actually right. They just yeah, it's like it's. These people are not worth arguing because they're not there to make an argument to see who's right. They're there to say, no, I am right and you are wrong. And you're a piece of shit if you don't believe in me. Yeah. And the thing is that, like, Asmin Goad, the reason why people watch him, like, I, I, I watch him from time to time. Like, I, 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 I do watch his stuff. Do. I do. So the reason why pe people relate to him is because he is saying what a lot of people are thinking most of the time, right? Yeah, he is like so, like someone said, uh, uh, Argent Sable on Rumble. He yeah, he is milk toast. He is a liber He is a little bit more. He's more libertarian and le leans a little bit more on the left. But he is he he does have in some ways cons uh, conservative values because he grew up in a conservative household, right? So um, I think a lot of people just he's he's sort of in the middle. Like he's a li little bit more left leaning, but he is in the middle, and that's what a lot of people like. And he's like he's a gamer. He's a regular dude. He doesn't hide who he is. He doesn't fake who he is. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like, like he, yeah, he's a multimillionaire. Does he? Yeah. And can he buy a, a mansion and live in it? Yeah, he can. But he, he doesn't can. want. He, can. he doesn't, doesn't need, want to. Exactly. He doesn't exactly. need to do it. Can yeah, he? Like, can can he get like hair transplant to make sure that his hair looks nicer so he doesn't look as bald as he yeah. that he usually does? Yeah, he, abso he, he absolutely. He absolutely can. He can absolutely. It's like yeah. Right. Yeah. He, he he's middle left exactly. So yeah, like, it's, like, it's yeah, it's like even admits, oh, I haven't showered in five days. <laughs> I just find it really funny. But yeah. he's, he's, just, he's a kind of down to earth guy. But if you look at his bank accounts, oh man, man, he's set, for, this guy's set for life. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that's different from him and a regular person, a regular, like, like yeah. blue collar, like, like, like it's yeah, his it's money. Like, and he doesn't. He doesn't. Sh like, look at the stuff yeah. that he wears. Like, he he wears the same shirt, like, white like, shirt for a month. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's the. It's like it's these kind of people that I like. It's like it's not like like um those executives who work in corporations like, with the suit and the Ferrari. Oh, look at me, man! I'm so successful in my life. Listen to what I have to say. Uh, those people are incredibly obnoxious, man. It's like those fake gurus with self help books. It's like it's yeah, it's pretty. I I respect these people far more than those kinds of people, in my opinion. Yeah, it, it's like those guys. You, like when back in the day when you used to go, like watch YouTube when they first introduced uh, ads, and it's like, yeah. hey, I have two for I have two Lamborghinis in my garage, but do you know what's better than Lamborghinis? Knowledge. Buy my book. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. that kind of bullshit, right? He's yeah. not like that. He's not there to preach at you. And he said yeah. that you know if you don't watch him, then don't watch him. But this person yeah. right over here. Saying that he's a transphobic grifter, if you scroll down to there, <laughs> that's since been deleted. <laughs> Asmin goes fans have found this, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute. But before I go, why not help a cute trans gal with her HRT? 
<laughs> Man, that's hardcore grifting, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. I hate Asmund Goat. But also, can you fund my hormone replacement theory? Shut the fuck <laughs> up, dude. Like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? Jesus. But here's another one. Uh, this this has also been re uh, replaced. Now, this one I have a lot to say because this person is uh, it's, it's in the industry. Now, I've been seeing more and more hateful Gamergate-esque opinions. I want to be clear on where I stand. I won't tolerate any harassment, violence, or threats towards devs, minorities, and women in our industry in any space that I own or have control over. I agree with that. I I, I don't. Um, if you're gonna harass people, violence, just ban them, block them, report them. I don't care about your opinions, and we'll go into this discussion with you. I'm not interested in explaining to you how little you know of the workings of our industry, and I will report block and block your account immediately now the red bar the red part is important and if by chance by any chance you happen to be working in an industry and you are voicing said opinions i will screenshot you put you on a person uh on a person list and advocate that you'll never work in a company i work for or associate with again all right richie I'm calling you out, you piece of shit. I work, I work in the games industry, and a lot of the shit that you guys are coming out with that are fucking woke as fuck, no one's gonna fucking buy your shit. Okay? No one's gonna buy your shit. Come on, come at me. Come at me. You wanna cancel me? Come on, do it. Do it. Come on. Like, if you have the balls, I'm pretty sure you're on HRT and you probably removed your balls already. I'm pretty sure that you're that this is all bark and no bite. Go ahead and do it. But the thing is that I'm just calling you out and this is not a harassment. This is a this is more of a criticism that your side has been doing for the past 10 years, ever since Gamergate 1.0 started. Now we're in Gamergate 2.0. Go ahead and screenshot everything. But the thing is that a lot of people have the same sentiment as we do. Uh, we just mm -hmm. want games that do not pander or, or, or fucking removes us from our escapism. People just want to play video games. People work three to four jobs just to be able to pay for their two bedroom apartment for some reason. I don't know my two bedroom and pay for their cars, seven dollar lattes, and the one thousand dollar iPhones. And there, they just want to go home and play a video game without, without being preached at, and it immediately removes you from your escapism. Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah, if, if yeah. You, yeah. Go ahead. I yeah, I'm more actually fixated on the previous paragraph than the one box like. It just shows, right? These people are not there to, like I said earlier, these people are not there to have a genuine professional co conversation so that we can arrive at a conclusion. Th these people just want, no, my way is the absolute correct way, and you are wrong. If you don't 100% comply to me, you are a whatever insult, bigot, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's like, I, it, these people are not worth talking to. It's like, they're just there to, you know, to say what, um, say their piece, and they are always correct and you are wrong you, there's no way around it you can't rationalize with these people yeah and, and and the thing is that like when this person gets fired most mo they're they're gonna blame they're gonna blame, blame people like us and people who are online who are complaining about it the thing is gdc is happening next week i believe mm -hmm. gdc is happening this coming week in san mm -hmm. francisco i believe and i was actually i can actually go to it but i'm not gonna go because i don't like I don't like um, going to San Francisco if it is in San Francisco. But um, <clears throat> uh, the thing is, um, there, it's at GDC is where you get CEOs of Sweet Baby Inc. saying that you should terrify your marketing people, right? A lot there, there are a lot of woke ass people going to eat uh, GDC, and mm -hmm. a lot of these gaming companies and stuff like that, these tech companies, they are infiltrated by a lot of these people. And it's 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 actually disgusting, right mm -hmm. now. Remember Ki uh, Chris Kindred? This person's back, and basically said this here, uh, basically saying they're just writing fan fiction at this point. The group still uh, still should be taken down. By the way, and this is talking about Sweet Baby uh, Inc. Uh, detected. If not for the conspiracies, then definitely the Nazis. Uh, they're doing uh, a phrenology in there. So basically, uh, this. Re this reply and all this this has all been deleted since then it's it's on it's, it's the, the thing is that if you if you are so adamant about the things that you're saying why delete them exactly like are are you too much of a pussy to like fucking have your shit and the yes. fact that when you get ratio especially when you get ratioed you start immediately yeah. privating your shit 
Yeah, it's like if if anything, if you truly believe what you say, that should be a motivator, not a not a means for you to block or delete your stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And and then over here it says, um, uh, that's crazy. Isn't one of these people he's talking about Asmund Goat is an active participant of an harassment group? And then Mudahar says, This you? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Because yeah, she because Chris, I'm not sure is he, she, whatever, just for it, whatever. They're the one who started this harassment group to try to get Sweet Baby Ink detected removed from yeah Rasheed. it's like yeah it's like I, i've been i've been saying it's like if there's still any game company out there who still wants to work with these people i think you two deserve each other like mm -hmm. if you still can't see why how dangerous these people are to your company i don't i don't know i don't know what else will it's like yeah all all, all the main characters of all their games will be a, a black obese trans person <laughs> all <laughs> Oh, that's all the main character is going to be in all of your games. That's yep. what's going to happen. And then the, the last thing last thing that has to do with this... Um, do you remember I talked about how uh, this all started with Sweet Baby Ink detected and then it sort of blew out of proportion, right? Now, this this also has to do with this because remember I told you about Melissa Mercanti who's, uh, work, uh, who's an, uh, you know, I guess a quote-unquote fake journalist at Kotaku? I guess she was on, I'm not sure if she, she they, or many days, or whatever it is. Um, they were on a podcast or, or some kind of YouTube oh, channel. Oh, I, 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 I saw this. Like, if you're part of the curator, which I am, <laughs> I am yep. a racist. <laughs> okay, so apparently yeah. I'm a racist. Okay. Yep. So here we go. Let's go, let's go ahead and, and uh, listen to what she has to say. Racist. Okay. Yep. Let's see if it plays, or and, unless it got deleted. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can re uh, refresh it. Uh, okay, there we go. Made that Steam page and who are arguing in my Twitter uh, are kind of trying to act like, well, we're so clever because we made sure to take out language that made it clear that we were didn't want black people in games or didn't want people of, of you know, color in games. We we just said that we want to be aware of this company and aware of what games they're working on so that we can make an informed decision and blah, 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 blah. But it's like, I don't think that you think you're being as smart <laughs> as like you, you believe you are because everybody with any sort of sense can read between the lines as to what you're doing. And then even if you were pulling it off well enough on Steam that it seems like you're not violating the TOS technically and you're not, you know, openly being a hate campaign. You spend five minutes in their Discord and that's really what drove it home for me was... Yeah, so basically... I, I think that... She, she, this lady is basically saying that you don't have a right to show what we're working... Uh, what Sweet Baby Inc. is doing. Like, how dare you make this list? You know, like, have you gone to the Discord? And she's the one who went to the Discord and says, "Hey, why can you dox yourself so I can so I can I can dox you guys basically without saying it?" She's the same person that went into the Discord and says, "Hey, why are you guys not using your actual profile pictures? Why are you guys not using your real names?" It's like she's the it's I don't know, man. Like she's she she she's say, how do you feel about this? Yeah. Uh. Well, given she works for Kotaku, it's not surprising. It's like uh. Yeah, it's like I don't know. It's like yeah, I I you can't really rationalize with these people. They're gonna continue. No, I'm not gonna listen to you. We're always correct, and and for some reason, even though that curator is actually advertising, advertising your your games, it, you're somehow you somehow it's still offensive. Somehow it's like oh no, you're you're attacking us. Why why is that your interpretation? It, shouldn't you be proud that that curator is featuring your games? Like that's what how I would take it if I were a consulting company and it shows all the games that we're in it. If like if I believe that I'm doing what is right, or if I if I'm believing I'm providing something of value, then it's a good platform to showcase all the projects that I have done. I mean, if if she had, if they had taken it that way, they would have gotten so much really really good PR if they had interpreted it that way. Like they would have mm -hmm. gotten so a lot more defenders if that was 
oh, look, this curator actually is showcasing our, our project. So you, you, they would have got a lot of defenders, even here on YouTube, if they interpreted it that way. Rather than doing, going down the path that they did, trying to cancel everything. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.